Rick King landed fully on Nation and Nation took the brunt of the damage on that maneuver. Now King sends him back in. King no wasting too much time here. Should be getting inside the ring, finally makes the cover. Shoulders are down and no. Like I said, King did not follow up quick enough. Otherwise, he might have had the victory right there. And now Nation, feeding off this crowd here in Phoenix City, is trying to come back here. In Sagari, there by the champion. But Nation still on his feet. Oh, King with a backspin kick right to the kneecap. And that's going to cause some problems for the challenger. And considering the plethora of submission maneuvers at the disposal of Rick King in his repertoire, I would say that's going to be a very big red flag on Nation for the rest of this matchup. And there you see right now, King is targeting that leg. He knows exactly what he's doing inside that ring. And now torquing the ankle in a very awkward position and trying to get a submission from the challenger. King might have found the one weakness that he has been looking for to exploit on Nation in this matchup. Couldn't get a submission, but drives the foot right to the knee. Further damage done to that ligament, and now possibly going for a Boston Crab. All Nation counters that tremendous leg strength, just throwing Rick King right off him. But King back to his feet first. He runs into an elbow. Ducks a punch, jawbreaker there by the submission technician. Leg, double leg sweep, and now once again going for the Boston Crab. Oh, and he's got it there. It's a variation of the elevated crab. And now Nation might have no choice but to tap out. Oh, Nation once again using that tremendous strength to break free the King holding on to the ankles. And now once again going for the submission. And he's got it once again. King now trying to cinch up on Nation. But Nation is slowly getting towards the ropes. That may be the only way he can get King to break this maneuver. King is cranking, but no. Nation gets to the ropes, and now finally the referee will call for a break. And King looks frustrated. I think King might have thought that he would have had the victory right there, but Nation just would not quit in any sense of the word. King now forcing him back to his feet. Nation having trouble standing. Irish whip was reversed. Oh, King ducks a clothesline. Ducks a back elbow, back of the rebound once again. Oh, Nation got him up in a fireman's carry position. Oh, up in the shoulders, electric chair. Oh, but no, King counters into the victory roll and goes for the Achilles tendon. The ankle lock now applied by Rick King. And that's the same leg that was injured earlier, the same one that King was targeting just moments ago. Nation able to break free momentarily but if I know King King is gonna go right back to that ankle lock when King smells a weakness he continues on it until he exploits it to his fullest extent drop kick to the head there's the cover and no gotta say thus far that King's been ahead on points but at the same time you really got to give up give it up for nation nation has endured quite a bit of punishment throughout this matchup but continues to show fire, perseverance, and the will to win. Now King setting him up once again. Kick right to the leg, nothing pretty about that offense. Front chancery. Oh, and going for a suplex, but no. It was countered by Nation, who delivers a German suplex of his own. Oh, a Nation holding on to him here. Go behind Wastelock, King now trying to get back to his feet. Nation's got the grip and once again brings him down with a German suplex. Shades of the Crippler right here being shown by Nation. Nation goes to the third one, drives him in the corner, now rolls through. Oh, he's still got him though. King counters, wraps his legs around Nation. He rolls through and now once again's got the ankle lock. 
different variation from before. King Mel has the leg grapevine, and there's nowhere for Nation to go. You know, King may not be an Olympic gold medalist, but trust me when I tell you, he's applying this maneuver as well as I've seen anybody in the business ever do it. Nation able to get to the ropes though. Remain in the match. And that might have been the only thing that saved Nation right there. Nation is still down and King is now ready to capitalize. But I'm not so sure what King can do here to put away Nation. Nation seems pretty determined to win this matchup here tonight. Falling victim to a knife edge chop. And there's another one by the interstate champion across the chest of Nation. And those ropes may be the only thing holding him up. Irish whip was reversed. All electric chair once again. And short flight bad landing for the interstate champion. That one power move did a lot of damage. All he's gonna do is now is make the cover. There it is, and no. Oh, somehow, Rick King able to kick out. One minute remaining. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, there's one minute remaining in this matchup. Time has literally flown by throughout this competitive battle. Oh, and King nails the Savat kick. And it would seem now that these men are in the final stages of what has been a wrestling classic. And King has no intention of it being a draw. There's the cover. And no, Nation kicks out. And King's got to be frustrated here. No matter what he does, it seems like Nation is unbeatable. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds remaining. Who's going to get the victory in what has been a tremendous matchup? Oh, Nation now with the counter, tilt a whirl backbreaker. Will that be enough to do it? He's gonna go now for the standing shooting star press. 20 seconds remaining. King counters to the ankle lock, and Nation tries to break free, but King still got it on him here. King trying to go for the submission in the final stages of this matchup. 10 seconds remaining. Nine, eight, we are less than 10 seconds away from the final bell, and it looks like this one is going to be a draw. And that's it, fans. It's going to be a draw, but what a matchup we have seen here on Great Championship Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a time limit draw. Rick King is still the interstate champion. And while both men have got to be disappointed, I'll tell you who's not disappointed, and that's all the fans here in the building in Phoenix City here tonight. We have all witnessed a tremendous matchup for the GCW Interstate Championship, and I guarantee this is not the last time you will see these two men inside the ring. Rick King will retain the championship on a technicality, but if I know King, that's not good enough for him. And we will see a rematch between these two men in the very near future.